If you create content for YouTube, this video is very important to watch as it describes changes to the upload process, all of your existing videos, and potentially your monetization. Hi, I'm Lauren, and I'm the head of family partnerships here at YouTube. I'm gonna go through important new requirements for all videos that you should take action on as soon as possible. I'll provide some background on what's happening, walk you through a new audience setting in YouTube Studio and how to use it, and then answer some questions you might have about this update. Back in September, we shared the steps we're taking to address a recent settlement with the U.S. Federal Trade Commission that will help creators comply with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, known as COPPA, and other applicable laws. In order to help you comply with the law, we're now required to ask you to mark all of your videos as made for kids or not. You know your videos and audience best, so we've launched a new audience setting that lets you tell us if your videos are made for kids or not. In addition to this setting, we'll use machine learning systems to help us find content that is clearly made for kids. But don't rely on our systems to set content for you. Like all automated systems, it's not perfect. If you don't set your audience, or if we detect error or abuse, we may set your audience for you. But in most cases, we'll rely on your audience setting to determine whether a video is made for kids. There are two ways to set your audience, at the channel level or at the video level. If you know that your whole library of videos is made for kids or not made for kids, you can set your audience at the channel level. To do so, go to Settings in YouTube Studio, then the Channel tab, then Advanced Settings, and from there, go to the Audience section and choose an option that best describes your channel. Doing this at the channel level will apply to all of your older videos too, so we encourage you to set your audience at the channel level as a first step. From there, if some of your videos don't align with your channel level setting, you can mark your audience at the video level. To mark your older videos as made for kids or not, go to the Videos tab in YouTube Studio, select which videos you'd like to edit, and go to Audience. You'll also be prompted to answer this question every time you upload a new video. On the Details tab on the Video Upload page, scroll to Audience and choose the option that best describes your video. Note that if you've already set your audience at the channel level, this will be automatically selected for you. But make sure to choose the option that makes the most sense for that specific video. Again, it's incredibly important that you take these steps to set your audience accurately. Now we realize this is a big change, so let's dive into some questions you may have. What's considered made for kids content? Per the FTC's guidance under COPPA, when deciding whether or not your channel or video is made for kids, you should think about factors like the subject matter of your video, whether children are your intended audience for the video, whether the video includes child actors or models, whether the video includes characters, celebrities, or toys that appeal to children, including animated characters or cartoon figures, whether the language of the video is intended for children to understand, whether the video includes activities that appeal to children, such as play acting, simple songs or games, or early education. Whether the video includes songs, stories, or poems that appeal to children. And any other information you may have to help determine your video's audience. Ultimately, we can't provide legal advice, so we're unable to confirm whether or not your content is made for kids. That decision is up to you taking into consideration these factors. But we want to help you follow the law as much as we can. Check out our Help Center and talk to a lawyer if you're still unsure whether or not your content should be marked as made for kids. How old is a kid? The age of a kid in the US is defined as anyone under 13, but the age of a child may be higher in other countries. So you'll need to consider the factors we just went through that apply to COPPA, in addition to any applicable local laws regarding children. Note that regardless of where you're based, COPPA generally applies. Be sure to consult a lawyer if you have questions. If you set your content as made for kids, what does this mean for your channel? We will start limiting the data we collect on made for kids content to comply with the law. Because of this, videos that you mark as made for kids will be treated differently on YouTube. Some features like comments will no longer be available. Most importantly, those videos won't show personalized ads, so some creators may see a decrease in revenue. What other features will no longer be available if I set my content as made for kids? Starting in January, if you mark a specific video as made for kids, features like comments, personalized advertising, 
Info cards and screens and more won't be available on individual videos. If your entire channel is set as made for kids, your videos won't have any of those features. Your channel also won't have stories, the community tab, the notification bell, and your viewers won't be able to save to watch later or save to playlist. Keep in mind that these restrictions are to follow the law. For a full list of restricted features, visit our help center. What happens if YouTube systems say my video is made for kids, but I disagree? Can I appeal? If you've not yet set your audience for your video and YouTube has set it for you to comply with legal obligations, you can choose the option that you believe is correct for this video. If you've already set your audience for your video and we detect error or abuse, you still have the option to use the send feedback button if you disagree. You can find this in your video's details tab in YouTube Studio. What happens if I mark my video's audience incorrectly? If you don't set your content appropriately, this may result in compliance issues for you under COPPA and other laws. And if we find that you're abusing our systems and intentionally marking your videos incorrectly, this may result in consequences for your channel or videos. We know this won't be easy for some creators and that this required change is going to take some getting used to, but these are important steps to ensure compliance with the law. We're committed to helping you prepare for this transition. So if you'd like to learn more about this new setting, be sure to check out our help center. Thank you for watching.